this is how to optimize your PC for gaming in just 10 minutes, so you can get the biggest performance boost in the least amount of time. I've made several highly rated optimization guides, and after doing these tweaks, you will get better FPS, lower input delay, and a faster feeling system overall. Let's start with the essential Windows optimizations. Begin by creating a restore point by pressing your Windows key, typing in create, and pressing enter. If for some reason anything goes wrong, you can use this restore point to revert any changes you've made. Once your restore point is created, press your Windows key, type in game mode, press enter, and turn on game mode. In simple terms, it just makes it so that less things run in the background. From here, click on graphics, change default graphics settings, and enable optimizations for windowed games. In DX10 and DX11 games such as Fortnite, this setting allows you to use windowed full screen, but still get the same input delay as exclusive full screen. If you see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on here, I would also recommend turning that on as it allows you to basically offload more tasks from your CPU to your GPU, which is best for CPU intensive games like Fortnite where the GPU isn't fully utilized. However, you might not see a performance impact in primarily GPU intensive games and at worst it can cause system instability and stutters. So definitely try it on, but turn it back off if you notice any of the mentioned issues. Next, we're going to disable core isolation. This feature uses virtualization based security which reduces gaming performance by 5% on average. It's definitely worth turning off and as long as you have Windows Defender enabled and don't download stupid shit on the internet, you're good. To disable it, press your Windows key again, type core and press enter. In here, you can disable memory integrity by flicking that switch. Next, we're going to debloat Windows for better performance. To do this, we'll be using the newly updated Chris Titus Tech tool. I really like it because you don't have to install anything and I use this tool after every Windows feature update as they will often reinstall the bloatware you previously removed. To run the script, press the Windows key, type in PowerShell, then click Run Windows PowerShell as administrator. Then simply type or copy and paste the first line from the description and press enter. After a few seconds, a window like this should pop up. Once this window opens up, click on tweaks. You can safely follow exactly what I'm doing as I run these exact tweaks myself, but I still recommend hovering your mouse over each tweak and read their description so that you know exactly what you're doing. In the advanced tweaks caution section, you can check off basically everything, but for those of you who use Adobe websites like Adobe Express, do not turn on Adobe Network Block as it completely breaks its functionality. As for set display to performance, we're going to manually adjust those settings later in this video, so don't worry about it for now. Once you're happy with your selection of tweaks, click run tweaks and after a few minutes this window will pop up saying tweaks are finished and you can close everything off. Next we're going to change our power plan since power plans can have a big impact on both latency and frame rate. Press the windows key, type power and hit enter to open the power options. If you have a mid to high end PC we're going to add the ultimate performance power plan because at least for me it outperformed every other plan in nearly every category. By default, the ultimate plan doesn't show up, so to add it, open command prompt, copy and paste the text from the description, and press enter. Once you reopen the power options, it'll show up in the additional plans and you can select it. However, I'd recommend running a few benchmarks while switching between power plans to see what works best for you. Now we're going to just go through every single window setting, and unlike using the debloat tool, you're only ever going to need to do this once. You can open your settings by pressing Windows and I together. On the left, click on System, then Notifications. Notifications themselves don't affect your performance at all, but the processes that manage them definitely can. So just to avoid any of these headaches, I would disable notifications and enable Do Not Disturb, because who's actually paying attention to their PC notifications? Now click on Personalization on the left, then Dynamic Lighting. Dynamic Lighting is basically a background app that manages your RGB lighting that can cause conflicts with other RGB software. Definitely turn these two settings off. Now click on Apps, Advanced App Settings, Share Across Devices, and turn that off. This setting used to be involved in a terrible CPU usage bug that would eat up tons of resources. And even now, disabling the feature reduces background processes and prevents your activity from being shared across your devices, which can help with security. Then go back to Apps and click on Startup Apps. Disable anything you don't need. Once you're done with that, click on accessibility settings on the left, click on visual effects, and disable both transparency and animation effects. Even though you don't see these effects in game, it still very slightly impacts your performance, so you might as well disable them. Moving on to privacy and security settings, click on it, then click on every subcategory from general to activity history and disable all of it for better privacy and security. As usual, you can read the descriptions and enable any setting as you see fit, but personally I have everything from these five categories disabled. Moving on to the search permissions, I would recommend disabling everything as well apart from a safe search. The internet's kind of crazy so having it set to moderate can help with your safety. 
And finally, for the last section in the settings, click on Windows Update on the left, click on Advanced Options, and I'd recommend disabling these top four settings, not just for performance, but getting notifications for Windows updates and having your PC update during active hours is not fun. And the very last thing we're gonna do is go to Delivery Optimization and uncheck Allow Downloads from other devices. Leaving this setting checked basically allows you to download Windows updates off of other people's computers and vice versa. Disabling this reduces the risk of sending or receiving update data from unknown PCs. It's good for privacy, but won't really affect your performance at all. Next, we're gonna disable some advanced system settings. Press your Windows key and type advanced, then press enter. Under performance, click on settings. You can select best performance to get the best performance, obviously, but I recommend enabling these three settings near the bottom. This mostly helps with system responsiveness, but still makes your PC use less resources while gaming as well. Next, we're gonna tackle some GPU optimizations, starting with Nvidia. If you have an Nvidia graphic Graphics card, click the arrow in the bottom right corner of your screen and double click the NVIDIA logo to open the NVIDIA control panel. Some people still think these settings don't affect performance, but in a lot of games they actually make a noticeable difference. And it only takes about one minute to change everything. So click on manage 3D settings at the top left and then copy these exact settings. If you want to apply them to a specific game or see if they affect your game, go to the program settings tab and select your game files exe from the drop down it'll show you which settings actually do something for that title. For AMD users, these GPU optimizations increased my 1% lows and decreased both my RAM and VRAM usage by 1GB each, so definitely don't skip this part. Start by of course opening up your AMD software. Press the settings cog at the top right, then click on preferences. In here, you want to disable absolutely everything. While you're at it, I would also disable hotkeys because there are a lot, and the odds of you accidentally toggling something you didn't mean to are very high. Next, click on gaming. If you play both single player and competitive games, you might want to keep your settings separate because some of these settings do sacrifice a tiny bit of visual quality for performance. I'm lazy though, so I'm just going to go to the graphics section instead to adjust for every game and application on my PC. On texture filtering quality, change it from standard to performance to prioritize performance over image quality. Surface format optimization gives you better FPS and lower VRAM usage. It's best to keep it enabled for smoother gameplay. For tessellation mode, we are going to override the settings and set our maximum tessellation level to off. Now for some registry editor tweaks, and yeah, that's 23.7% better 1% lows which you are going to feel when you're actually playing the game. So open up the registry editor by pressing your windows key and typing regedit. To get to the correct folder, select the text above and replace it with this line from the description. Once you're here, double click GPU priority and set that to decimal 8. Priority should be set to decimal 6, and both scheduling category and SFIO priority should say high. Next up is Win32 Priority Separation. Changing this value helps significantly with both application responsiveness and frame rate. To get to the correct folder, copy and paste the next line from the description and press enter. Now most people, including me, recommend setting this value to decimal 38 to fully prioritize the foreground application over the background. This one value has a sizable effect on performance, so I recommend trying a few different values and restarting your PC each time to see what works best. The next tweak is to disable network throttling. Disabling network throttling can help reduce network latency, especially in games where every millisecond matters. So click up here again and paste this path from the description. By default, you might not see network throttling index in this folder, so to fix that, simply right click on the right side, click new, then dword 32 bit value and name it network throttling index. Then double click it and set the value to 8 Fs to disable network throttling on your system. And for the final registry tweak, it's gonna be in the exact same folder we were just in called system responsiveness. The default value is 20 decimal, meaning Windows reserves 20% of CPU resources for background tasks. Setting this to zero gives your foreground tasks, like your game for example, 100% of the resources. So simply double click on system responsiveness and set that value to zero. And to finish things up, we're going to do a very simple BIOS tweak, enabling XMP slash DOCP. Just check your RAM information online or in the manual to make sure it supports XMP or DOCP. To get into your BIOS, just restart your PC and spam the delete key or F2. In the BIOS, you should be able to find the XMP or DOCP option right in front of you. It's going to be slightly different for everyone as we're not all going to have the same exact motherboard. Anyway, set it to enabled or profile one. This allows your RAM to run at its advertised speed. This covers the vast majority of the optimizations I've done to my PC. And if you're looking for even more performance boosts, check out my full optimization playlist next.